everybody it's your boy Odin from Hostop promo in today's video we're gonna be reviewing this new VPN software called a VPN it's a secure fast and easy to use VPN platform it helps you manage your VPNs helps you manage users etc okay and we are gonna be using DigitalOcean to install this and the reason why is DigitalOcean has just added a one-click install application for a VPN and also if you click the link down below you'll get a hundred dollars free credit so you can try this for free see how it is for a few months and see if you want to continue so once you've signed up and you have your free credit we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go into the menu and we're gonna go ahead and click create and then we're gonna go ahead and click droplet droplet is just a fancy name for a server and then we're gonna go ahead and select the marketplace tab right here and we're gonna go ahead and search for a VPN. Now we're gonna go ahead and select it, and then we're gonna set our server size. I'm gonna set mine to $5. However, if you had many, many, many users logging into your VPN, you may want a slightly bigger server, but for one user or multiple users, $5 should be plenty. And then you're gonna go ahead and select your data uh, region. So I would select, you know, where is fastest or where you think is best. I'm gonna go ahead and select Singapore because I'm near there right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and where it says VPC network, we're gonna just leave this the same. We're not gonna change it. Uh, I'm gonna keep these all unchecked. And then here where it says authentication, I have already previously added an SSH key. If you want, you can click new SSH key and add your SSH key, or you can do password and set a password. Obviously an SSH key is a little bit more secure. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose a host name, VPN Ubuntu, we'll just keep that as is. And then we're gonna go ahead and click create droplet. Now the droplet is going to take about one minute, maybe two minutes to create. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and set up the rest of the VPN. All right, now that our server is set up, they recommend we set up a firewall, okay? It works without the firewall. I've tested it before. However, it may be slightly insecure. So I guys, I just recommend setting it up. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna click networking. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna go ahead and click edit where it says firewalls. Now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and click create firewall. And we're gonna give it a name. We'll just do a VPN. And then we need to set three inbound rules. So the SSH one is already set up for us. The next one we have to set up is a custom rule. Uh, and we need to change the port number to 2802. And then we need to do another custom rule and we need to switch this to UDP and then we need to select port 443, okay? So SSH custom custom TCP TCP UDP 22280243. And now we need to go down to the outbound rules and it looks like everything is already set up the exact way they want. So we can just go down here and we can search for that droplet. And then we can go ahead and click create the firewall. Now it says firewall created successfully. Okay. So now we're going to go to this website the uh, VPN website. Let's see the domain, uh-vpn.com. And we're gonna go right here where it says sign up, okay? Now it's gonna ask for an email address and a password. I have a temporary email right here because I'm doing just a tutorial. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that password. And we're gonna go ahead and click continue. Now that we are in the dashboard, we need to go ahead and click create new group. And we're gonna go ahead and name, we're gonna go ahead and select the free plan. However, some of you may be interested in the premium plan, but for this tutorial, I'll just be doing the free plan. I think the premium plan lets you do some branding and some customization, some other stuff, and it costs one euro per device, okay? However, the free plan, I think it lets you do a single device, so it's good for personal use. 
uh, and we're just going to do test as the name we're going to go ahead and submit that okay now that we've created that group we're going to go ahead and click the group and we are going to say create new server now we're going to set some important information here okay it's very important you guys do this correctly so for name we're going to name it udp for appearance order we're going to put zero okay for the domain ip address this is the server uh, that you created at DigitalOcean. You need that IP address. So for example, if we go back, we can see the IP address is right here and we can just click copy and then we can go back to the website and enter that IP address in. And then for the port, we wanna do port 443, okay? We are gonna leave the tunnel network, the IAVPC, we're gonna leave all this the same, guys. Okay, we don't have to change anything keep everything the same and then go ahead and click submit okay now that server is set up okay uh, so what we have to do now for example we have to click this little golden key okay it is going to give us this little token API token that we're going to need for the uh, VPN server so now we need to SSH into our server guys. So you need to do SSH root at and then your IP address of the server. And once we have SSH into the server, it says, please enter in a VPN server token. Okay. That is this token right here. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. Would you like to add another token? No. Okay. Boom, setup complete. Server is now ready to accept VPN connections. All right, now we need to create a new person, but before we do that, we must verify the email that they sent when we originally created our account. So go back to your inbox and click the confirm my account or copy the link and paste it. Um, I already confirmed it. That's why it says your email address could not be verified. Uh, now that it's been confirmed, we're going to go ahead and click create a new person. And I am just going to use myself. So we'll do Odin and then we'll set the email and then we'll click submit. Okay. Now we have the new user right here. We're going to go ahead and click the user. Okay. Because we also need to add a device for the user. So I'm going to go ahead and click add new device and we'll just call it Android, okay? You should name it, uh, it says, enter a name that describes the physical device, for example, iPhone, Android, etc. And then the expiration date, if you just leave this blank, it won't expire. And then we're gonna go ahead and click submit, and it's gonna go ahead and add that device. Now we're gonna go ahead and check our email. So we have a new email right here, it says, Dear Odin, you've been assigned a new VPN pro profile for remote access to test. Please enter the following code in your uh, VPN app. So they have apps in the App Store, in the Google Play Store, and on Mac, as well as Windows. And I even saw that they have a Linux client or are working on one, okay? So what you wanna do now, it's very easy. So all you have to do is just download the app. For example, if you wanna use your phone, you just download this, okay? And it's so, so easy. So all you need to do when the app opens up is click manage profiles. And then it's going to ask you for a code, okay? Right here, when you click manage profiles, it says enter the code provided in the email. So you just enter in this code and then you are good to go. You'll have your profile right there. And then all you have to do is click this connect button and now you have access to that VPN. It's super, super easy, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about a VPN, uh, let me know down below in the comments. I will leave a link to the documentation as well as a link to the $100 free trial. And I very much appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. Peace out.